In this bulletin, Canon withdraws its May 8 complaint against two Chinese companies over the dongle patent. One angry US consumer files a class action suit over faulty printers. And the laser printer market in China continues to boom. Hello, I'm David Gibbons and here is the news. Canon has withdrawn its complaint against two Chinese-based companies. Back on May 8, Canon lodged its complaint against many remanufacturers and distributors with the US International Trade Commission, also called the ITC. Canon claims certain printer cartridges made and sold by the aftermarket infringed their patents. At first, it appeared the two companies had been vindicated, but according to Canon's motion, the two companies dropped from the complaint, Nine Star Image Hong Kong and Sinar Image Hong Kong do not exist. Canon further stipulates the termination of this investigation with Nine Star Image Hong Kong and Sinar Image Hong Kong is purely in the interests of removing these non-existent entities to conserve both public and private resources. Administrative Law Judge David Shaw has now issued an order granting a motion filed by Canon to terminate the investigation against Nine Star Image Tech and Sinar Image International. To date, 43 companies have been named by Canon in the complaint, including a number of Nine Star and Sinar companies, which do exist, and four other companies, Provantage, Printronic, Online Tech Stores and Nectron International, have conceded and are settling with Canon. In another case involving Canon comes news that a very angry consumer has filed a class action suit against the printer giant. Marcus Ho claims the printheads in his Canon Pixma printer failed shortly after the warranty ran out on the printer. In his complaint to the New York Federal Court, Ho alleges Canon has long known about the defect and has done nothing about it. Ho was advised to send the printer in for repairs, but he knows the repairs will probably cost him more than buying a new printer. He believes the faulty line of printers violate consumer laws. He also believes tens of thousands of consumers have the same problem, so he is willing to represent a class of all purchasers of the allegedly defective printers. The shipment of colour laser printers in China has grown 20% every year for the last three years. However, there are still much fewer colour laser printers in China than in Europe or the USA. The market share of laser printers increased from 4.8% in 2010 to 7.1% in 2013. First, according to ccidnet.com, the cost of colour prints, speed and image quality need to be improved. And because 66% of survey respondents are willing to sacrifice income for mobility, a greater demand will increase the integration of new mobile technologies, including printing devices. The study by CCID points out that colour, mobile intelligence and smart operations will be the significant trends going forward for China's laser printer market. The two manufacturing giants, Clover and MSE, say their strategic merger announced two weeks ago is now complete. The merger caught most industry leaders and analysts off guard. But in a press release, both companies are optimistic the merger will create a global business opportunity for dealers with a lineup of products and services not ever seen before. And in brief, many OEM devices with outstanding performance have earned the Buyers Laboratory Summer 2014 Pick Awards. The Dell C2665 won the Best Award in a number of categories, including Best Colour Multifunction Printer. Other categories for the Pick Awards included the Best in Monochrome, Workgroups and Energy Efficiency. North American remanufacturer Think Refill claims more than 700 million inkjet cartridges are sold in North America every year. However, only 5% or just 35 million of them are recycled, with most of the others being dumped. And there's an update to one of our key stories last week about Xerox auctioning off 239 of its patents. According to Democrat and Chronicle, the auction is delayed because Xerox has been asked for additional time by interested bidders. 
HP and Epson, as well as aftermarket cartridge manufacturers, are all getting into 3D printers. With 2D technologies being vastly different to 3D, why are these players rushing into the market? You can find out more in this month's Recycling Times magazine with print rights Ian Elliott on the front cover. Well, those were the top stories this week. Thanks for watching. See you again next week. I'm David Gibbons.